extras. In this video, I'm just going to show you how you can create a banner or pennant design in Photoshop CC 2014. Now, you can, of course, create this in other versions. Photoshop CS6 pennant shape designs. They're available on the graphic extras dot website, as well as the andrewshapes.com website. Also, you can actually download a free sampler set on the andrewshapes.com website if you want some of those. Anyway, how to actually create it. Just this very basic one, and I'm just going to first go to the rectangle tool, set it to shape, and obviously a fill color, and just quickly create that initial design. Next thing to do, I'm just going to go over to add an anchor point, and I just want it approximately in the center. It's very hard to exactly think. Normally, actually, I create these in Illustrator, which is a much easier tool, but uh, just added that. Okay. So once I've actually done that, I can now just drag that out using the direct selection tool. And I'm actually just going to drag that out like that, holding the shift down so it's basically in the center. Now, I've got a curved design here. I don't want a curved design, so I can actually get rid of that. Just going over to the convert point tool and just click there. And that turns it into a nice corner point straight line. Okay, so we've got the pendant, the basic pendant shape. Well, that's really about it, actually. But you can, of course, add to that design. And I'm just going to make it more complex design. So you can actually save that as a custom shape. At this point, I can't. So what I need to do is just go over here, Direct Selection Tool. Just select all those. So all those points are selected. Now I can go over to Edit and Define Custom Shape. Just quickly save that custom shape. Just get rid of that. And just go down here. So I can actually now show you the custom shape tool. And go all the way down the bottom. That's the one I've just created. Just quickly create a design like that. And of course now you can actually create ever more complex, unusual pendant designs. You go with that one. And of course you can actually create multiple ones. I'm just going rid of that again. Of those. Just drag that down there. Hold the Alt key down so you can actually duplicate the layer. You all shape layers. So you can create that across all 25 points using the line feature. Again, lined all along the top. So you've actually got that design there. I'm also just going to quickly add a rectangle tool just to give it a sort of top part of the design. Now, what I can do, I can just quickly go to Layer. Combine shapes, unite shapes, merge shape components, and there you've got yet another custom shape tool. Which, of course, you can, once you've actually got that, you can define that as custom shape as well. Edit again, unfortunately, it's not available, so you have to go this way direct selection tool and just select all those and edit define custom shape. All right, so once it's a custom shape, just move that out of the way. Get rid of that. Quickly create a custom shape, and you'll see now as a custom shape, you can actually modify the fill. You don't have to go with red, go with that, and also go, go with gradients, uh, multi colored gradients. It's great, unusual designs. You can also add text and much more. And of course, you can remove elements of that. So if you decide you don't want that part, you can actually modify the individual points. It's just a custom shape. So Again, you can say tweak that one, drag that further down, maybe make that one go the other direction, and so on and so on. Right, create ever complex designs. And you can add, of course, more points to the design. Again, to add maybe some slight tweaking there, make it curved, etc. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.